Hey guys, Lord of Flames here, and welcome to Creepy Review. Here we're going to review the Watson Files 1, the company introductory tape. This is mostly a references almost similar to Final Face, but something new that we never get to see. Something with a new story, new character, something new. So, this is a new thing that was made by Martin Walls. So, here we go. In the first beginning of this video, we only get to see the introduction of the characters of the Amtronics that were mostly new to this. The sun has got his hat on, hip 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 hooray! The sun has got his hat on and he's coming out today. How much is that dog in the window? <laughs> the one with the wiggly Even we get to see the new type of owners from this company. But first, here's a message from Jack Walton and Felix Kranken, our beloved found- Which reads, In BSI, the most important thing to us isn't the money or the rating. The most important thing to us is that you have a wonderful experience while working with us. But soon, this place will be shut down in like another year. But mostly, mostly right around the same time when it was open the same year, because one of the owners got been missing for some reason, until things change. We finally start to remember that they are there, they will be back for you soon, safely. We only get to see this first type of cartoon episode, mostly called Bond's Neighborhood. Or Little Bond's Neighborhood. It's mostly a type of small type of animated series that's been made. And it's mostly, this episode's mostly just about with the main character Bond. It's mostly inviting his friends for, for a sleepover to watch a movie. Until something went a little bit different from the animated series. Something between when we see a bit images of these type of curses of these glitches showing the familiar that that's mostly the owner who's been missing, and then mostly we see a little bit different between Bond's eyes are mostly black. Until one time when they were all mostly watching the movie, something's wrong with the movie they're watching. Something about it says, "Let me out! Let me out of here!" Until time go by. When they're asleep, Bond's awake by hearing something until um, he checks around the room and saw that the TV was on until he saw a missing reporting on the missing owner of the same restaurant. So he mostly found a lighter on the ground and lightens up until... <laughs> it only doesn't show him on the light, it mostly shows a girl, a night guard, who's mostly named Sophia, but with a horrifying animatronic look on Bond behind her. Until we uh, split transition to another screen of a, of a man who's mostly a caretaker to this facility he's heading to, somewhere far from every distance, because there was a thing that happened years ago about the missing owner until the restaurant or mostly just about these animatronics been moved away to this facility and now it's been replaced by these animated cartoon characters instead. This one caretaker is on his own going to this abandoned facility just checking around if everything's all right and even the animatronics but he only found the animatronic of Bond that looks much bit wetter. It looks a bit working until one time that change, that the voice of Bond is mostly reversing, until looking at the screen of the of the Bond character, but this time with uh with blank holes, until it shows human eyes are not mostly Bond's eyes, but rather a human because that's not right, until it bleeds out, until now this caretaker runs away, get out of there until. He's mostly locked around the forge or something when he tripped until he saw it again. <laughs> and we only see one simple screen of the M trying with a distorted face or something until 
yeah, the caretaker was mostly killed. But mostly you're seeing this uh, old 3D model face of this character, whoever it is, is mostly killing caretaker until he he always thought it was her until it ends there. So what does this all mean? Well, back in the beginning of this video, since the beginning of this company and the restaurant, the animatronics were already made and two founders are still doing their own type of good times. Until, even we already get to know a bit from the character named Sophia. And something about her is mostly gotta do something with this, even with the owner who has been missing. Something's gotta do something about the... Uh, something else, but... We're looking back the introduction about the this our little Bond version looking at the TV with uh, the our animatronic version of Bond. Of course, this type of animatronic looks a bit creepy a bit, but who knows? Some people think there it could be a the owner is mostly a killer, similar to Purple Guy or mostly called Willie Hampton, kidnapping some children and killing them. Of course, it could be that or maybe wrong. It's something about one of the owners or one of the workers mostly uh, malfunctioning the characters to uh, reprogram to kill the owner when missing but never is found again. Or is something else that the owner has been a uh, little bit suicide or something wrong with his mental until he went to suicide and who knows he probably possessed that the animatronic. But something about that he always thought it was her that is mostly Sophia because remember when we saw that cartoon episode between the lighter scene that shows uh, Sophia instead? Even the animatronic Bond was behind her so it's got to do something between her and this Bond animatronic that could be the owner possessing. Something's got to do that something that she's discovered and mostly got the owner got me a suicide or something. But who knows? If it gotta be the missing children, or it's gotta be the missing owner who's now possessing the animatronic of Bond. Because we don't know why, what happened, it could be some reasons. He went to suicide because his, if he's went to mental, or rather someone who killed him could be his co-founder. Or someone else, it could be Sophia or something. So, I got those ideas for no reason, trying to figure out what this got to all mean. And it's still confusing this very day. But sometimes between those uh, episodes, those cartoons, gotta do something. Of course, Bond always been the focus on the main character. So, of course, uh, something about the missing owner. So, something about that thing about looking back to that part when the caretaker has found the Amtron until the eyes were bleeding out. But it shows the human eyes, of course. But we never see, hear any type of voices of the owner or something. But even about that TV show, and it shows the word, let me out, let me out. That's gonna do something with the owner. Ever since, probably, the owner went missing, and then being trapped inside one of the animatronics that is mostly Bond. Wanted to get out. So the owner is, could be possessing the animatronic bond, but why? Why is it gotta do the reason? So, or even what's gotta do with Sophia? So I think I think I believe that the owner is mostly now possessing Bond. It's got to uh, try to find Sophia to kill her. So she gotta do something with this. If she could have done something to him, or rather something else. So that's gonna all I got, folks. Because if there's gonna be another file for this, I'm gonna review it again if it comes back. And Martin Wallace, you done amazing for creating this. I'm gonna review more of these files for another time since I'm busy on other stuff for uh, more Minecraft movies. So, anyways, folks, I hope you enjoyed this. This is Lord of Flames here. I'll see you guys next time. Bye, folks. Have a wonderful day.